Welcome back to another episode of All Time Adventures. In this episode, we'll be doing a rig rundown, and as you can tell, we're at beautiful Fraser Island, no better place to do it. So let's get back into the car, and I will show you round out 2012 N70 highlights. <laughs> requests about doing a rig rundown so we might as well while we're at Fraser why not film a rig rundown so we'll start from the back of the car and make our way to the front just makes it a little bit easier so thinking off with we got an eye build kit spare wheel holder this is the best thing ever instead of having it under the uh, tray makes it a little bit easier to get off and on a little bit quicker as well when we're off-road and it's a little bit covered in Cape York red dust so don't mind that uh, we've got the kick-ass uh, shower tank with the hot water system as well. As well as the motor top on top. How do you like the motor top? We get yeah. that question a lot. Yeah, the motor top's good. It's, well, it's what you pay for is what you get. So we've never had a drama with this one. It is absolutely awesome. We've had it in like torrential rain and wind and not one leak. We are in two mines. We are in two mines. Hopefully, we're going to go with the new Darchy one um, later on down the track. Uh, if you come around the back, we have this one on at the moment, but we've got the Ibill Kids lockable jerry can going on at home. Once we get home, we'll put everything back together and put it back on. Uh, we've got the Max Tracks as well, and then the gas bottle as well on the other side. This side of the canopy, if we go inside of it, there's not much. There is, we took our um, fridge out at the moment. We'll hopefully in the next couple of weeks get us an upright one. Um, that will go there. All those boxes are spare parts and everything will go to the side. And this recovery kit as well there. On this side of the canopy where we just were, uh, just a slide out top. Whatever you want to do, cook, clean, um, chop up food. Got the drawer, um, this drawer is all pots, pans, bowls, bowls and plates, cutlery, um, pantry on that side as well, and then you got your Eco X speakers up the back. You've got the big one and then you got the big sub. At the bottom. And then all your 12 volt system on this side. 240 power, King's Inverter, don't talk about that one. Um, all your controls from up there. And then as well on top, we've got the Darchi Clips 270 awning. We go around everywhere with us, it's absolutely awesome. We cannot fault it enough. Um, cannot love it enough, it is awesome. Yeah. Um, come onto the side of the car, I've uh, got the clear view ones fold out ones if we don't want to call them. Um, go to the front of the car and we'll go underneath the car as well. EA yeah, got J-Max snorkel on the driver's side. Um, the is about to go big red gear slides on as well as the light bar on top with the platform rack. Uh, GME antenna 6.6. Um, all the Sabre recovery gear. Um, the King's Winch, this is the Dominator X uh, wireless, and we just hid the box underneath here. Um, you got your yeah, SEQ Mars bar as well. Wouldn't put anything else on them. Uh, Firelocks, absolutely love them. Uh, custom off road bash plates underneath that go the whole, whole way underneath. Transfer case, everything. Auto box as well. Uh, suspension, we've got fulcrum, upper control arms, um, the Kings or Dobinson um, heavy duty springs. It looks like rust, but it's really just Cape York. Yeah, Cape York on the bottom of it. 
um, and then also Dominson lower control arms as well. Uh, two inch body lift and two inch lift. So all mod all, plated. All mod plated. Um, <laughs> yeah, all mod plated. Engineered everything. Um, tires, got the Maxi Razors um, NT. Um, absolutely awesome. We took these up to Cape when we put them on. Um, absolutely awesome mud tire. Uh, and then we've got the CS, CSA off-road ridgeline rims. And these are 285s, 75 on a 16 rim. So inside the cab, it's nothing really special. Um, it's kind of basic, kind of, except the head unit. So Explore Oz, Ben, uh, is head unit, runs off 4G, off-road maps, everything. It's absolutely awesome. We absolutely love it when we're traveling. Um, just the Outback um, roof console. Uh, we just, me and, my, me and my old man just uh, made a few changes and just hid the box in the top there. And then you've just got the XRS connect up the top. Uh, sand catchers, yeah, um, gauges, oil pressure, boost. Um, and then just Razorback seat covers for myself and Chloe. Which are absolutely awesome when we're uh, going in waterfalls and going out of the beach. Um, waterproof. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, that's about everything inside the cab. And then this is our just a little wall we have the stickers. Another one. We absolutely love it. Uh, we took the back seats out and this is just for storage. Um, our clothes normally go in that side of the car and then all spare parts and other bits and pieces go on this side. Um, fire extinguisher underneath and then yeah bits and pieces going there when we're traveling. Right so under the hood it's a bit dirty don't mind us we're obviously camping at the moment. Um, bigger intercooler we've got an alley radiator um, catch cam basic pretty much anything. Uh, we've got a G turbo running under there as well um, and we also are tuned at 165 horsepower with 480 meters of torque. Uh, next we'll do injectors with 30 plus caps on them um, and probably just give it a tune, adjust autos. Be awesome. Um, and then we just got the winch box under here as well. We just hit everything to make it all nice and um, we'll just make everything go with each other. Yeah. Yeah, 400 bucks from the wreckers, and then we just got a friend to fabricate some mud guards, the headboard, and ladder rack um, together in under six weeks before we went to Cape York. So, and then obviously the um, canopy is from MW, uh, 1200 long by 1770 wide, and then the tray is 1650 long by 1778 wide. So, yeah, and then we just got the eBay special lights. We would love to hear your thoughts. Um, please like and subscribe below. Yo.